Praise the Lord, everybody. Pastor Nick here with another uh, session, another video from Psalm 23. So glad that you've joined us today. Now, if you can, please share at this time. Uh, let somebody know we're on. Tag somebody as we journey through Psalm 23. Uh, we hope this has been a blessing to your life. If you missed them, go back on whatever page you're watching us on and go back and watch them. And uh, we're in uh, verse three, the restoration of the soul. We talked about how the soul returns us. How the restoration returns us, how restoration refreshes us. And now let's talk about how this word restore means to repair. There are times in life where events happen that break us. Times where things happen and we fall apart. Where we experience some brokenness. Uh, and all of us, if we're real, are broken in some area of our lives. It could be one area, two areas, but we all experience brokenness, shattering. Something can come to break your heart. Something can come uh, to feel like, you know, make you sad all the time, upset all the time, angry all the time. We are broken people, but we serve a God that knows how to restore or knows how to repair. He's the repairer of breaches. He's the one that knows how to make whole. He is the one that not just heals and saves, but the one that brings wholeness into our lives. He is a repairer. He can put you back together again. Al Green sang the song, how can you mend a broken heart? God can mend your broken heart. He is a repairer if you allow him to to get up all up in those places, to get in your pain and present your brokenness to him and ask him to help restore you and repair you so you can become whole again. What does this look like? There's a story of this woman with the issue of blood and the Bible says she goes to many doctors and uh, they, she, she's getting worse and she spends all her money up, money up and she hears that Jesus is in town and she goes to pursue he says, if I can touch the hem of his garment, I shall be made whole. She went for wholeness. She touches the hem of his garment. And the Bible says that she was healed, that her hemorrhaging stopped. And she was healed of that plague, that scourge. And Jesus stands still and says, who touched me? The disciples say, Lord, how are you saying who touched you? All these people are grabbing hold of you. And he says, no, who touched me? And he stops the parade until the woman comes out. The Bible says she comes out and says, it was me. And watch what he does. He says, daughter. She was known as this woman with this issue. But when he calls her daughter, he's changing her identity. He's changing how she's seen in the world and how she's supposed to see herself. She goes from this woman with this problem to a daughter of God. He says, go in peace. I know you were stressed out, you were struggling, I know you were confused and you were hurt, but I'm speaking peace into your life. So what is Jesus doing? He is, her body has been healed when she touched the hem of his garment, but at her words, her inner person begins to go through a transformation. And he says, be whole and sends her away. What am I trying to tell you? Being healed in your body, but still being broken on the inside as you being half. God wants to make you whole. Where she was healed of the plague in her body, but also healed in her mind and her heart from what the plague has done to her. So now she's no longer known as the woman with the issue. She is now a daughter of God, someone with peace and someone that is now whole. God wants to make you whole whole. He wants to repair you on from the inside out or from the outside in. He wants to repair your life where you start walking in wholeness, where God starts healing those areas of brokenness in your life. It's time to start identifying yourself as a child of God, walking in God's peace. And she walked away with wholeness, not just healed, whole, saved and delivered, delivered and saved. God is a restorer of souls. He repairs a broken soul. God bless you. We're going to go through this again next week, next video, excuse me, and um, we'll hopefully finish 
this part of the restoration of the soul. God bless you.